Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated what's in my bag video. I've been going through some like comments recently and I hate how on YouTube if like one person comments on a video it doesn't show like the past comments so I feel bad. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like ignoring any comments or anything but it seems like what's in my bag has been a super popular request lately. I've had several of them in past videos and recent videos. The last one I did was a couple months ago and that was the first one I ever did. I did change my bag and I'm trying to be better about keeping it organized now so yeah I figured I would go ahead and jump right into it also um I posted the winner of the new me for play giveaway I was supposed to have it on up I think on like the 26th so I think I'm like a day late what is today like a day late I think maybe two days late I don't know I apologize I try to stay on top of it but it's just been really hectic we're finally settled in so yeah we'll go ahead and get right on into what's in my bag this is the Michael Kors large Hamilton tote and I think it's just in the color luggage which at first I was like surely that can't be right but after checking several sites I think that's the color it also comes like in kind of like an ostrich detailing and then brighter colors black and I think either a lighter brown or a darker brown but I don't know I just really liked this color I feel like it transitions well from like fall to winter to spring and summer so yeah this is the color that I went with and it has gold hardware the two what are these called like top satchel handle things and then you also have this little chain which isn't actually very long but I don't know I guess it works if like the little crook nook of your arm gets tired so inside you have the large pocket and then you also have several smaller pockets and it's just lined in kind of like a taupey color with a little Michael Kors logo now that we have all that aside we can go ahead and get right into it okay so getting right into it in the very front like small pocket I have this little guy here this is normally like well it's not normally it is magnetic and it was on the fridge at, in our apartment but I didn't want it to get messed up in anything that we were packing up so I threw it in my bag it's just a little accordion book of Landon's pictures this is when he just turned one they're so cute and then there's also pictures on this side as well um, let's see. I actually like that it's in my bag now just because I don't know if he's ever not with me and I miss him then I can look at it. I have the little key card gate to our apartment. I actually need to mail this back so they don't charge $50 for this dinky little plastic card. I have a chapstick in original. This is Keegan's. I actually hate this chapstick but when we were in LA his lips were super chapped so he bought that. I figure keep it in my purse then he doesn't have to keep buying one over and over. This is good that I'm doing this because then I feel like I can take some things out that don't need to be in here. For instance, um, my passport and there's two little Sky Club passes in here. You guys are looking for one. This normally had like a silver metallic strap that covered it but it broke right off. But my mother-in-law got me this at J. Crew. They have lots of really cute neon colors. And then in another little pocket, I have a Hello Kitty mechanical pencil. I love, uh, <laughs> my throat's like drying out. I love Japanese pens and pencils. The lead and like the point, like the ink ball, whatever that's called in pens, are a lot finer than ones you can find here. Obviously you can get them, but I just feel like it's more common. For instance, I think this is like a point three. Then I have a mirror from Sephora. I have the two Sky Club passes we used while we were in LAX, so I can throw that away. I saved this business card just because I thought it was so cute. Um, I don't know if it was actually called like Japantown, like how there's Koreatown in LA, but we drove down this one area. Um, it was like on our way to, I forget what that area was called, like Howard Hughes plaza or promenade or something I'm not sure but we found this place called blockhead shavery oh my gosh I wish we had this here it was so good but their little logo is a penguin and I don't know I wanted to keep it then I have a business card from fix um, it was just a little coffee shop that we met Keegan's cousin in in LA then I have a couple of my business cards in here in the final like divided pocket I have our New Year's cards, which is pictures of Landon and me and Keegan. That's I love this picture. It's just Landon and Bubba sitting in his little car. Then I have the thing that came in the purse. I don't know why that's in there. I have my iPhone. Um, this is just kind of like a pink. It's not like one of the loose rubbery silicone kinds. It's a little bit harder. And I don't know if you can really see, it's baby pink, but then it has all these iridescent shimmers in it. It's by the brand Mer Mercury. <laughs> and I think after shipping, I paid like eight bucks for it on Amazon. Um, my lock screen is Landon, of course. Then I recently found my iPod Touch. This is like a super old picture of me and Keeg. This probably isn't even focusing, I apologize. 
But yeah, I was excited to find this just to like see what music I was listening to at the time. For instance, let's see what albums I have on here. Um, Regina Spector, Hootie and the Blowfish, Boyce Avenue, The Abbott Brothers, Brand New, The Spill Canvas, Sugarland, Anya Marina, Flyleaf, Stevie Ray Vaughan, The Weepies, Jim Jones. Um, yeah, just lots of random music. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to go through that and see what else is on there. Okay, now going into the main pocket of my First purse. thing I have is the book that I'm currently reading, and this is The Fig Eater by Jody Shields. It's kind of like a mystery suspense novel. I'm only two chapters in. I started it last night, and I'm already really liking it. Um, we had time to kill on Monday because we took a red eye, red eye, why can I not speak? A red eye out of LAX. So we went to this Howard Hughes Center Plaza. I don't know. We went and saw a movie, um, Silver Linings Playbook, which I totally loved. And then as we were walking out, there was a bookstore and said everything $1. There were some used books like I think this may have been used but then there were brand new books too that were out like hardcover kids books whatever any kind of book and they were all a dollar so King and I both grabbed random books I wish we had more time to spend in there just because I don't know I love reading and I want to see what else there was but yeah this is the book that I'm reading right now I have some probiotics from Cuvana I have my wallet, which is just a hobo wallet. It has a little place for your license right here. Then I keep my rewards cards here. There's a zipper pocket there on the inside. There's just random things. Um, a business card. You know what? That's where I can stick these. Um, a business card. My prescription thingy for my eyeballs. Um, a receipt from Francesca's. I just cleaned out all my receipts and it felt so good, like cleaning out my wallet. And then I keep like my credit cards and everything on this side because there's a ton of slots. I have these two little packets of Nutella. I've never seen these. And I don't know, I thought it'd be cute to have in here, I guess, like for Lane. And he can eat with pretzels or Teddy Grahams. These were at the Sky Club and I just thought they were so cute. Like I've seen the kind that have the sticks on the side, but I don't know. I thought these were way cuter because they're just little peely packets of Nutella. I have hand sanitizer. This one is an island nectar. I don't know. This is probably one of my least favorite ones that I've had. Ew, there's a bug in here. I really like warm vanilla sugar, but this is all I have left right now. I have a receipt, but these are receipts that I need. Two Williams and Sonoma. Um, if you spent a certain amount of money, then you got $40 back. Um, and it's like no minimum purchase or anything. So I think we're going to go to the comments today so I can use this because it expires on the 31st. So yeah, that's like 40 free bucks to spend at Williams Sonoma. I have my ibuprofen 800. I get the worst headaches and I try not to depend on these just because, I don't know, I've read so many things and like herbal ways to help. I'm pretty sure they're migraines because it gets to the point where I just want to lay down and I feel so nauseous that I'm going to throw up. So I need to just make a doctor's appointment. But I've tried like Advil, um, what's that one, Excedrin. That like made my stomach hurt. I've tried several things, but I don't know. It seems like it's the only thing that works right now, but I'd rather try something else. Then I have this little latch thing that holds onto the keys. These were our apartment keys that I need to mail back in. I have a clean pair of Landon's undies just in case he has an accident. These are just Spider-Man undies. I have my sunglasses. These are the Ray-Ban aviators. What are they called? Large metal. Okay. So these are just kind of like the brown ombre ones. I don't know. I really like them, but I kind of want to try on the green like reflective ones. Those look kind of cute. And then inside I do have one lipstick in a case. Normally all my makeup is in a pouch inside here, but I don't even know where I got this, but it brought back so many memories. Whenever we lived in Okinawa, these were sold everywhere. These and little like Asian coin purses, but I don't know, I really wanted to use it just because it was so cute. A little mirror's in it, but it's actually cracked, which is a bummer. And inside I have a Chanel Rouge Coco and Gabrielle. My friend Jen, Jen5716, actually got this for me for Christmas, and I love it. It's just like the perfect red lipstick. I don't know, I'm crazy about it. So I have that little guy in here. I have a Vera Bradley, which normally I'm not crazy about. I feel like here in the South, like Vera Bradley is a big thing with girls, but um, like I have a luggage thing of it and then this little coin purse just because this wallet gets so heavy and days that I just want to carry this out of my purse and not like everything change weighs it down. So I just keep it in this little purse right here. I have a Robin Hood Mater. This is Landon's. I have a packet of Twinings or Twinnings of London Earl Grey tea. This is my favorite. I recently tried the Tazo Earl Grey and I think I like it more. I don't know, but definitely my favorite tea. 
Um, another thing of Landon, some Angry Bird Chewies. I have a Woody Pez dispenser and Great Pez in here. This is probably one of Landon's like favorite sweets, so I just keep this in here whenever he goes like poo poo when we're out and about. Then this is just a small price. He can eat a couple of these. Okay, and then the very last thing in my purse is this gold sequins pouch. My friend Savannah actually got me this from Julep. And this is where I just keep like random floaters just so they're not all around my purse. Makeup, so I guess I'll just go through this really quickly. First of all is the Prada Candy Lotion. This smells so good. When I first got the perfume, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. It kind of has like a baby powder scent, but then after like the first two or three minutes after it like sinks into your skin, it's really sweet and sugary, which normally I don't care for, but I don't know, something about this one I really like. And I love the packaging, the pink and black and gold. It's just super cute. Next, I just have a little compact just in case I get oily. I've shown this a million times. It's just a transparent pressed powder. It's a Korean brand, Ocean, Ocean, I have no idea. A tampon. I have a chapstick in Goat House Dairy Lip Balm Sugar. The majority of things I have in here are lip products, and I cleaned it out just because there was like a ridiculous amount, but I don't know, I just like having variety. I have a YSL Volute Sheer Candy in, I guess it's number five. This one smells so good. It's just kind of like a berry color. I've used it like crazy. It's shrunk down, but it smells like candy. I love the it. The Chella Heated Eyelash Curler that I got from IMAX. A Revlon lipstick in the shade Candy Pink. It's just this really cute bright pink. It's actually what I have on now. But it's faded. And on top of it, I have the Chanel Glossomer in number 131 Mica. I have the Bobbi Brown Concealer, which I don't know why I keep this in here. I rarely ever touch up like face makeup the only thing i really ever do is apply more lip gloss so why this is in here i don't know not very practical next i have a lotion this is from soap and glory and it's called hand food if you watched my videos for a while you know that i've mentioned this before my lens is so dirty i hope you guys can't see those fingerprints um i don't know if the first bottle that i had bought was just like old or just wonky i don't know but i did not like it then after purchasing a second bottle now i love it like it has that like paraffin feeling where your hands just feel silky smooth and this one just smells way better. So I have this. I have a crystal nail file from Julep. A baby Prada candy in here. How cute is this? The only thing that's annoying is I thought it was going to be like a spray just like the big bottle but it's the kind that you have to like pour out onto your wrist which is kind of a pain but it's still really cute. Cuticle clippers because I get the worst hang nails. A hair tie. There is a sample of Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. Normally I'm not crazy about like celebrity inspired perfumes. I went through an entire like three ounce bottle of this thing. I love it. I have a Hello Kitty pen. Okay, this one is in, let's see. Yeah, this one's in 0.3. So I love it. Just the really fine tip pens are the best. Three buxom glosses in here. This is ridiculous. So yeah, one of these is probably gonna be, get taken out. I have a Berry Blast. Um, Katie and Gina. I have a Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle, which is one of my favorites, along with, um, is it Sugar Plum or Berry Smoothie? Something like that. I have a MAC Lipstick in Jubilee, which is kind of like a really light brown nudie shade. And yeah, that is all that I have in my purse. So if you watched my previous What's In My Bag video, you, you can definitely tell that I've gotten a lot more organized. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll definitely leave it down below. Also, just because I always get comments in my videos, I curled my hair with the Numi Pro one today, and holy cow, I love it. I didn't really have to add any product in it, although I may in a little bit just because my roots are looking a little flat. But yeah, it's just like really big hair, which I love. If you guys have a what's in my bag video, feel free to leave it down as a video response down below. I love watching them. Also, you can always find me on Instagram and Twitter. All those links will be provided down below as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.